Naomi here. <laughs> here with your naughty oracle card reading for the week of um, about Friday the 14th of April. Um, I hope you survived Easter everybody. I hope you enjoyed your fun Easter. Um, we didn't celebrate it this year and it was lovely. <laughs> to say it was I, I hid away for the weekend like I do like a hermit I am and enjoyed the space anywho so we're going to find out after Easter what's going to happen um, for the 14th of April and the week beyond using our beautiful naughty oracle in our no-nonsense spiritual guidance way I just feel I need to shuffle again I have meditated on the cards and shuffled etc but I feel we need there's something slow coming in. So let's have a look. What more? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 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 Okay. 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 Right. So we will be. Um, excuse me if you didn't understand that language. That was my soul language. It's not to be understood. Um, <laughs> it's meant to clear and just use my intuition properly. So let's have a look at what we're going to be looking at for our first card for Friday the 14th. Ah, we're connecting to your psychic site. So maybe that's why that slowness is coming in. So when you get your cat chat, you need to understand that, um, you know, people's projections and things that are that are coming in around you are actually interfering with your own psychic sight. So you may need to spend some time recalibrating, um, remeditating with your own psychic sight and really going deep within and finding out what you need to know at this present time. Okay, so it is about all of us coming together for this week to help us through the month of April and we're going to go do that by looking into our psychic sight and how it works you know am i am i one that sees with my naked eye the energies around me or am i one that's that has the smells so i can smell different things am i one who um who who hears and listens to uh what's coming through and the downloads etc around people and places and things um or am i the one who knows that this is how it is and this is what's happening. Um, so, you know, that there are more to your senses than just your, your hearing, taste, etc. Um, there's also that inner knowing, that inner voice, and that is your psychic insight. So maybe you need to start looking at getting into that a lot more. So let's do some exercises this week to grow that psychic insight and know where we're stepping forward. Okay, thanks, Cat Chat card number six for those of you who do the um, card numbers um, we'll have another card to clarify oh fucking mercury retrograde this is funny it's coming in <laughs> the mercury retrograde is coming in be careful okay so card number 19 it's coming up soon so if you have a uh, technology that goes with you if then know that the mercury retrograde um, is causing some of that so just flow with it just fix what you can reboot your machines etc blah 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 and it's time to take personal responsibility for all of the things that are happening so using your psychic sight go deep within and then try to understand okay the Mercury retrograde is around, so I need to take responsibility. What am I not taking ownership of? Is it that, you know, um, that I'm not really looking after my own health? Is it that I'm not spending the time to develop my psychic sight and um, listening to my intuition? Is it things like that or is it something totally different? But I feel like it is us not listening to our own intuition and not um, taking like those gut feelings of like, oh my God, I shouldn't be here. We need to listen to this guy and skedaddle whenever, okay? Like a cat goes, <laughs> so take responsibility for your psychic sight and listen, listen, listen. Actually, listen has been a big one for me the past few weeks, so um, I think it's coming through a lot. All right, we'll do a third card to finish off this reading for this week of Friday the 14th and we'll find out what's happening. Ah, oh, so why so serious, droopy dog? It's time to find your joy, card number 41. So we are going to 
find our joy even through the Mercury retrograde because we're listening to our psychic intuition. So if your intuition is telling you no, don't answer that that comment on social media <laughs> and don't okay or if it's telling you please block it um, then do right so it's about listening to that because from that then you can create the joy in your life all right I'm going to do something a bit different I'm going to turn over and go what is the underlying cause underneath our deck and it is card number nine and it is dead dingoes donger <laughs> very Aussie thing but it is about emotional healing so he is um, basically exhausted from all his emotions and he needs to clear them so maybe clearing them with your psychic side um, moving through that personal responsibility and taking ownership of your own emotions in the situations okay that's a big one taking ownership of your own emotions and situations then that will lead you to joy once you do that emotional work with your psychic sight with all this taking responsibility and moving forward you will find your joy okay so i think the big one though is this psychic sight this week listen listen observe find your answers through this and then take responsibility for your uh, part that you've played in it and then, um, you know, emotionally you can remove those emotions that are holding you back and then you can find your joy. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, let's do some affirmations. So it's timestamp below. If you want to come back to the affirmations at any time. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, that might have been a bit loud. <laughs> anyway, in the beautiful guidebook, you've got a bit of a blurb there. My little things and questions to ask yourself. Um, okay, so I'm going to read the questions this week just to be different. Mm, those of you who follow me know the affirmations. So if you've got your card deck, you can do your own affirmations. Otherwise, I'm going to do the questions. So the questions to ask yourself when Cat Chat comes into your life are, what blinkers do I have on? Am I not seeing the bigger picture of my surroundings and is my psychic sense blocked? Do I need to change any of my restrictive mindsets so I can flow more and not be stuck in a routine? And am I flitting around uselessly and not mastering my surroundings? Get back to your psychic sight. Okay, card number 19. Questions to ask yourself, fucking Mercury retrograde. Let's go. Who am I blaming for my lot in life? What am I not taking responsibility for? And how can I change my mindset so I can be more responsible for the choices I make? Okay, beautiful. And then card number 41, our droopy dog. Some questions to ask yourself, where has my joy gone? What makes me get out of bed in the morning and does it bring me joy? And how can I laugh more? Okay, and then the emotional one I will read as well. Dead dingoes, donga card number nine. Questions to ask yourself, what emotions are overwhelming me? Are these emotions really mine or are they someone else's? And shall I scream into a pillow, go for a run or get pissed with my friends? <laughs> to release my emotions. <laughs> you know, sometimes a good friend, uh, drunken episode can help release a lot of emotional baggage just saying <laughs> from experience yes from experience from years ago i don't drink as much anymore okay so that is your reading for from the naughty oracle for this week friday the 14th if you like it please like comment subscribe you know do all that youtubey stuff and enjoy the ride i'm now on tiktok just so you know all the links are in the description box below if you want anything else, any other reading, buy yourself the Naughty Oracle deck. The links are in the description box below and enjoy, enjoy our beautiful Naughty Oracle card deck. Okay, thanks. Bye.